Hi, I'm Deacon Jacob, and this is the Gospel Minute, where I read the Gospel and offer a short reflection in preparation for the upcoming Sunday. This coming Sunday is the Feast of Pentecost, and I will read the Gospel um, for the Mass during the day, which is from the Gospel of John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So a few elements to this gospel. The first part that sticks out to me is the disciples in fear. They are fearing the Jews and locking themselves away. And Jesus Christ breaks through in this moment and offers them the peace. He says, peace be with you. We know Jesus Christ offers us the true peace that is beyond all understanding. For he truly is the way, the truth, and the life. It's also interesting that shortly after this, he shows them his hands and his side. To show, I think, that he is not a ghost, but that he is truly risen, and that he is there physically. And also, um, our next point, when Jesus says, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. So the apostles are excited to see Jesus. They are receiving this peace now that he is there. And as the Father sent Jesus, so he sends us. So we too are called to participate in some of these sufferings of Christ, as he just showed them his hands and his side, that he is truly real, but also that he has conquered death. So in this Pentecost, as we pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, let us not be afraid. Jesus at the end breathes on them and he says, receive the Holy Spirit. And it is then that the apostles are sent out and they are filled with the Holy Spirit. And in Galatians, we could read about the gifts, excuse me, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. And don't we all long for these in our life, but especially for the Holy Spirit, which gives us that true meaning in life, that ultimate peace amidst suffering or joys, whatever it may be, to know that Jesus Christ is truly what we long for in our lives, that he is the only one that can fill that deepest hole in our hearts or whatever it may be. So as we approach Pentecost this Sunday, let us pray that the Holy Spirit may enliven in our lives. Let's make some room for the Holy Spirit in time of prayer, maybe a little fasting. And I encourage you also to begin attending daily Mass, that you may come and receive the Holy Spirit in a new and radical way. So thanks for tuning in today. And remember that Jesus Christ loves you, he died for you, and he walks by you every day to enlighten, strengthen, and guide you. God bless.